Hi, this is Ed Gregory from photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the guided transform tool in Lightroom. Theme tune. <laughs> Little jumps today. So, this has just been released for Lightroom. Essentially, it's a guided transform tool which is really helpful for putting images back into perspective. So for example, you've taken a picture of a building and it's got a keystone effect on it and a bit basically it will straighten it for you. But it's actually more powerful for that than that and I'm going to show you why. And the most important thing is understanding how this works. Now what is important about this is that it's in the new Lightroom CC and essentially what it does is they've moved most of the things out of the lens corrections and they've just put it in its own tab now called transform, but they've included this new tool. So let's jump into Lightroom and I'll show you how all of this works. Now remember to follow me on Snapchat and definitely like and subscribe to my channel. So here we go. We're inside Lightroom and essentially we're going to be working on this image today. It is a, an interior that I shot just uh, last week in LA. So where is this tool? Well, essentially we're over in the develop module and what we're looking at as we scroll down here, we hands, have lens corrections and now we have transform. We used to only have lens corrections and then transform would be inside here. Now, before you use the transform tool, I would 100% recommend making sure that you enable your profile corrections. And let me explain why. If you don't, what, what is happening is Lightroom is going to use straight lines, what you tell it to be a straight line, to essentially straighten your image. If you haven't enabled this, okay, and what you have instead is an image which is, say, more like this, you've got these angled lines, so it's going to be really hard to actually do that. So, first of all, we're going to go Profile, Enable Lens Corrections, and this was taken on the Nikon 14 to 24 f2.8. Great, so it's done a great job of this. But what I can see here, look at the angles of my lines, and this is what is important. Okay, so let me just take the brush tool, and I'm going to... Um, make it red <laughs> and I'm going to draw on this image and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean, the way that this is going to work. So right here, if you look, we've got a line coming down this way and we have a line, oh, not very good at drawing in here, am I? And a line coming down this way. I essentially bring this, okay, so we can see this now. Now you can see that the distance here is a lot wider than the distance here. But importantly, when I was standing in the room, the width of the wall back here and up here was exactly the same. So this here is some distortion. And so what we can do is we can correct that using this tool. So let me just delete this. And so that's the vertical. And then I can say, I can do the same thing with the horizontal lines like this. Now in this image, they're actually pretty okay. But these, for example, may have gone a little bit like that and then these two angles here are different so you could see how we'd make those differences. So let me just delete all of those things, we don't need that. So we come down here and we're going to go into transform. Now this is just how it used to be before so you can basically go in and you can hit auto and it's going to analyze the image and it does a really good job of this. Or you can do full and it's going to affect everything, the vertical and the level and absolutely everything. And you could go in and you could make it all yourself by twisting the image or changing the aspect ratio and doing all sorts of those things. But what we now have is guided. And what that means is it, we can actually, if it gets it all wrong, it doesn't manage to do it in auto or full, we can actually help it. And if you watch, all I need to do, I'm gonna draw a line down here, it's really simple. I'm just drawing a line. And you can see it's added this line for me just like I just drew the pen tool. Then I'm going to draw one on the other side and if you see what just happened, it made these two lines completely parallel. So for it to do its vertical, it must have two lines and to do its horizontal, it must also have two lines. It can't do it off one line. So I can draw one here and then I'll use this bottom one here. When I let go, it's then going to take these two lines and make those parallel. 
And you can see, looking at the before and after, it's done an amazing job at putting this room back into the way that I actually saw it, not to do with the angle of my lens and perspective and all of those things. Now, a few little things. If you want to get rid of these points, okay, you can just reset the upright guides by right clicking on them, okay, and it's going to reset them all. And that's all you have to do. So, another word of advice. Try not to do it, say for example, on things that are really close together. Because by doing that, and by not making my lines very long, so I'm trying to do it here. So try to make that the thing. And you can see it's done a really, really terrible job of this. Because I'm saying this is exactly how these need to be perfectly horizontal. There's no leeway within that. So instead of doing a really small object, you're always better being as far out to the side of the image as you can possibly be, so I might even choose this one, and also make your lines as long as it can possibly be. So let me just reset all of this. So we get the idea. So we can see really this is massively powerful. By making lines, it's gonna make them parallel. Now let's have a look at this image. Same room, but now we've got a perspective shot photographing into the corner. And now this is where we've got some challenges. If I hit auto, it's gonna do a really good job of this. If I hit full, you see what's happened now, it's got really confused. So let me show you if you use guided, what to be careful of. Here, my verticals are very easy with this because I've got one vertical here and then I make my other vertical all the way over the other side like so. Great, in fact, you know what I forgot to do? <laughs> Enable profile, so let's do that quickly. There we go and it still worked out to be just fine. Now the other thing that I can see here is what if I wanted to add my horizontal lines? Well, I don't have any horizontal lines because if I was to add this is my horizontal line, hmm, and then where's my other horizontal line? Well, I don't really have one, but if I was to make one, well, maybe it's the edge of the bed here. Well, now what you can see is I've tried to make this really square, so this isn't going to work. If you're going to be using a photograph in perspective, which this one is, okay, turn it off. What I would recommend doing, go into guided, we'll, we'll, um, we're into guided, we'll pick up this and then we can just reset this. What I would definitely recommend doing is just doing your verticals, okay? So just take your vertical in here and then we'll do the vertical over here and it's going to fix it really well. And if you want to see what's cropped out, you just take the scale and pull it back and you can see what exactly has happened to this image. So let's look at the first image and let's scale this one back and have a look. And you can see that as we've, oh, we didn't, we, we've got rid of the guides, didn't we? So let's pop these guides back on and we can see what's going to happen with this image. It's going to really manipulate it that way. And then let's do this one up here and this one down here. Look how quickly I can do it. There we go. And you can see how much this has manipulated the image. Now, you, we can bring back the scale, or a really great way is constrained crop. That's basically going to be, it's going to pull it in so there's no white areas. And that's it. So, before and after, it has done an incredible job inside Lightroom by using the guided transform tool. So, that there was this brand new feature inside Lightroom. It's massively powerful and really, really easy to use. So definitely jump in and have a play around with it. Remember, it's different to Photoshop. It doesn't actually bend the lines, which is your adaptive wide angle inside Photoshop. You can do that. This doesn't do that. It only takes straight lines to do it. And also be careful with perspective if you're shooting into a corner. If there isn't a line which is vertical or horizontal, and your, your horizontal line is actually at an angle, you can't use it because it's gonna mess up your image. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel. This was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Theme tune.